Oh boy, it's been a long, long night for this one. Okay, today we're gonna do underwater explosion. Fearless. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Daisy and welcome to another awesome tutorial. Okay, for this one, I want to do this ever since I saw Black Adam. You see? Let's hear it. Shazam! So as you can see, this is a full CG underwater. This is an awesome one, you see that? And yeah, I saw that and this is my inspiration. So we're gonna do that with the flip solver and because the CG should not be your reference I have this awesome footage from US Navy Okay, I want to mimic this look and yeah, we have a several uh, layer as you can see the first one and the second one and the third one and Yeah, well, I, I, I gonna try to mimic this look so before we begin, if you enjoy this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. But on my Patreon this week, we're gonna complete this look and we're gonna add a white water to the simulation as you can see. And yeah, we're gonna see how we can uh, work with the particle and VDB and large scale simulation. And we're gonna uh, blend or render that in Karma with Ocean. And big shout out for these awesome people. Our family is growing up. Thank you guys. Okay, let's begin. Let's create a simple flip configure node. Let me show you. This is a flip configure. And this will uh, give us uh, necessary uh, nodes in here. Let me delete this one. We don't need that. And we don't need a viscosity, not CD color. And yeah. Uh, we have that okay let me adjust the container okay i hope the flip solver have a, like a pyro a, auto size container but unfortunately we don't we don't have that and we have this water line for the water and yeah we have our water in here and we're going to adjust that this is the basic setup i want to show you that and yeah nothing fancy in here and yeah we're gonna uh, display, uh, disable the ground and we're gonna do a flip splashy uh, mode in here okay let's begin with importing our velocity what i mean by that so uh, underwater explosion it's basically some huge force going on underwater it's basically that so i want to mimic that let me show you uh, if i have this sphere let me show you i want to uh, animate that and yeah we have some calculation issue okay i animate that this is a basic uh, animation and yeah uh, and now let me create a null and let's call that a vel uh, for velocity and we don't have any v vectors or velocity i want to create that with point velocity this is a simple one this is a simple uh, y direction velocity as you can see we have these vectors and yeah and now uh, let me go to the flip solver and we have this awesome pop at vect by volume this is a popular note and now let's uh, select our null in here the vel one okay and let's change that to v because we have v not vel field and uh, let me show you in here okay we have a v velocity yeah and uh, let me set that to v and maybe increase the scale and let's play maybe let's adjust this particle separation for this uh, the, 
the sake of this uh, demonstration. I want it. I want to speed. And yeah, you see, the flip solver is so slow, bro. And maybe let's increase that. Okay, we don't have anything. Why is that? Because our V vectors, it's not volume yet. So for that, we're gonna rasterize by volume rasterize attributes. So I select the V vectors and yeah, let me visualize that by a volume visualize. And yeah, let me select the V and that's as a density and nothing happened. Let me see, I guess voxel size the problem no uh, i need uh, some noises in here and voila we have uh, some volume velocity you see we have something in here and uh, you can adjust uh, the particle size of so, sorry particle scale set right here and let me test uh, one more okay and now as you can see we have something. We are applying this velocity to the flip solver in here. You see, this is our velocity import. So let's uh, develop this explosion look. Okay, let me delete our, uh, our uh, sphere. And I wanna cr create this uh, circle object in here because uh, it's uh, the explosion it's a circular look and yeah let me change that and okay we have the z-axis plane and subdivision and i want to remesh that okay we have some velocity going on and i want to remesh that and yeah this is what i might what i talk about in here okay we have this uh, velocity vector. So I wanna have this uh, fade out or center weighted uh, velocity uh, based on my reference. So for that, I wanna use this technique. I wanna use distance along the geometry. This is an awesome node. Let me show you how it's work. In start node, I wanna select one point in the center sorry start point and now as you can see we have this gradient or this fade out distance okay i want to use that to multiply the length of velocity okay this is odd but i want to show you what i mean by that so i want to create a attribute vector adjust and this is as you can see we don't have anything uh, as an attribute, let's change that to length only and we have attribute. Let's uh, select our distance. It will multiply or subtract uh, this length of velocity based on distance attribute. This is simple yet handy technique. So now we have this not bad look in here. So I want to adjust the distance uh, attribute in here. I want to uh, add um, more power to it so for that you see we have something in here uh, but we have this uh, radial you can see this modifier and this is a circle uh, mod modifier you can, you can say and you see it will apply this uh, gradient look and let me multiply that and let me adjust these numbers okay it's too much in here and maybe yeah i <laughs> i want to use that set always and yeah and radial and as you can see we have this mountain look of uh, velocity you see i want to do that based on my reference as you can see you see that okay i want this kind of force okay everything it's untouched and let me uh, simulate that as and uh, maybe yeah i wanna i wanna adjust the transition and yeah and maybe the flip boundary okay yeah it's not bad and now let me simulate that and voila we have something and yeah this is a uh, for the start and as you can see it will 
continuing uh, adding this velocity I want to stop that and I want uh, in specific frame I want to uh, decrease or eliminate this velocity because explosion have a temporary uh, velocity and this is a uh, continuously adding this velocity so for that I want to add another uh, attribute adjust vector and I want to use multiply if multiply set to 1 it's the same value if 0 it's nothing so for that I want to use this expression f dollar greater than 13 sorry less than 13, uh, 15 it will be 1 you see and after 15 will be 0 simple and let me simulate that and see what's going to happen here okay this is a flip book and voila you see we have something in here this is good start <laughs> okay and yeah now as you can see uh, i need a more more force in here and yeah for that as you can see let me show you okay i want to add some force in here and yeah and now let me simulate that again and maybe let's change that uh, disable that uh, treat as a wind and let's uh, import sorry let's increase force scale you see we have this uh, awesome look this is the mode we need in here so this is a one layer and another layer could be a pyro burst source this is an awesome note for applying explosion effect explosion velocity as you can see you see we have another uh, awesome uh, setting in here thickness trailing and trailing length and this uh, uh, spread angle as you can see it's up to you to, de to develop this explosion look you see we have a um, different look to the explosion in real world you see and yeah I want to uh, do uh, I want to make that uh, uh, you can short as possible it's not long enough you see frame duration it's set to five and we have a velocity uh, vector uh, with this node and you see and let me simulate that and we have something you see that we are applying some force in here so and uh, now let me adjust the y-axis of the flip boundary and yeah we have something obviously this uh, pyro burst source it's too much so uh, we want, uh, I, I want to decrease uh, these force you see that okay that's our uh, uh, pyro burst or sorry and yeah now let me for example how i can reduce that it's by duration and yeah see it's will uh, applying the force quickly and to, uh, and that yeah maybe i wanna increase uh, the first layer and let me cache that as you can see and let's fast forward and yeah we have something but let's uh, let's accept that because the next one it's uh, time we're gonna play with time scale and all that will change so as you can see in our reference we have this large simulation so this is a, a physic basic rule larger the object slower the movement you see in godzilla for example the movement are slowly slow motionally because the object is so large so how we can mimic a large uh, simulation in flip so uh, instead of uh, increasing the boundary of the flip object or flip container we're gonna use uh, a flip time scale we're gonna trick that let me show you how so in in here we have this awesome time scale option and we're gonna uh, uh, for example 
point, uh, sorry, um, 0 0.4, we're gonna set to 0 0.4, and we're gonna catch that. And I wanna show you what uh, we'll have in here, what we're gonna have in here, sorry. It's, ha ha I had a exhausting night, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, we have this simulation now, as you can see, and let me show you. Okay, you see, we have this, uh, slow motion slow motion simulation and this is basically how we can mimic large uh, simulation as you can see with this particle separation and i want to enable particle separation in flip solver because i want to have all the control in one place and yeah this is basically how we can do uh, deal with a large scale uh, simulation and pay attention every Thing it will uh, change in here. Uh, force scale, you can, you, you need to adjust all that, the force and velocity. So I, I, I suggest uh, to set uh, time scale first and then adjust a velocity uh, scale. So let me show you the final scene in here. Okay, the final scene, it's simple. We have the same. Uh, circle and this mountain or this centered uh, velocity and we have this awesome trail trail path uh, pyro burst uh, I, I combine that and I delete uh, an unnecessary attribute for uh, the merge an artifact and this is my basic flip uh, setting as you can see not anything fancy and I have this awesome pop group and you see this is my uh, pop effect volume I have this pop group and pop force I uh, create a group based on boundary on top uh, our uh, water line sorry and I add some a uh, noisy force to it because the water uh, the water is falling it will have this a noisy movement because of the wind okay that's why i add a pop force and you see this is the result and this is not bad you see okay with that on my patreon we are going to complete this awesome underwater explosion by adding white water solver in sub level this is an awesome feature added in houdini 20 i talk about that in this video by the way and we are going to create splashy effect using white water this is a new one guys and this is so exciting honestly and help me a lot thank you side effects and after that we are going to create this awesome or simple uh, ocean and blend that with our small simulation to uh, optimize our process and yeah after that i want to show you a, a render setting and yeah if you're interesting I will see you there. Peace out.